it's been a while since I made another Somali video, but honestly, people have made me feel so bad about making Somali videos to the point where I stopped. But that's that's not that's not happening. I'm gonna continue making Somali videos and continue appreciating the culture, regardless of how much hate that I get. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. It's your girl. Somali. Coming on here with another freaking video first and foremost because I am making this video about the Somali culture. I'm gonna go ahead and cover myself up. I'm going to respect the culture I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to do this every time in every video I mean if you guys do want me to do this in every video that I talk about Somali let me know I just might do it who knows but I came across this video from Camilla. Hi, Camilla, if you see this. Um, I actually started watching the video, and then I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and post a reaction video to this video, but let me stop watching it and post an authentic reaction. So I stopped watching it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and record my reaction to this video. And let's go ahead and let's get into it. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Assalamu alaikum, Camilla, and very nice to meet you. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about the tension between Somalis and Somali Bantu. It is definitely a tension between Somali and Somali Bantus, and it is disgusting. I'm disgusted and it needs to stop this is a video I have been meaning to make for a long time now but I paused on it because I was not sure if it was the appropriate time but lately I have been getting some crazy comments under my tiktok video and I just same same I just started a tiktok and of course just like my channel name it is called I Am Somali, and I am just receiving a whole lot of hate. And it's just disgusting. It's just like, where do you people come from, and who raised y'all? I just feel like it's the right time to do it, to come sit here, address this, and really talk about what's going on, because it's something that needs to be talked about. Before I get deeply into the topic, I want to give you guys a brief history on who Somali Bantus are. Somali Bantus are not ethnic Somalis. We were brought to Somalia during the Arab slave trade. We settled there and made it our home. But Somali Bantus... Honestly, it doesn't matter where Somali Bantus came from, where they originated, you should not be treating your people, your people, like trash. It's disgusting. It does not make you better than anybody else. Ugh. Endured a lot in Somalia. We basically went through the same thing African Americans went through in America. We were the exactly. And it's like, how do you not have any compassion for people who have been through hell, who have been through so much? You're just like, <laughs> you're just like other racists for being racist. Are Somali racist? Not all of them. Not all of them. Because I receive a lot of love, but at the same time, the hate is almost equal, and it's just like, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And I said I wasn't going to address this anymore, 
But it's just like it's it needs to be addressed because a lot of you guys are like something's really wrong. <laughs> something's really wrong. Something's really wrong. And I'm sorry, I keep pausing this video. I'm gonna just let it play through. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just dehumanized woman raped, male beaten, children thrown to the curb. Anything horrible you can think of, we were put through. A lot of Somalis do not like to acknowledge this fact, and it's the same thing white Americans do to black. And I'm gonna acknowledge it because y'all seem to acknowledge all the hate. Every time I turn around, I'm being called Somali Bantu. I'm being called Jareer. I'm being called a dirty Jareer. I'm being called a monkey. This is by somebody who's the same skin color as me. You are, you in the United States of America, do you know what you are considered as? You're considered black. You're considered African American. Not African American, but you're considered black because of the color of your skin. And because and because of where we come from black Americans many white people deny the crazy things they put black people through during slavery and it's the same thing happening here knowing this it's fair to say many Somalis have a better than thou mentality a lot believe their looks give them superiority over Bantus to a point that and it is not it does not it does not make you better because your hair is finer because your nose is slimmer because whatever reason whatever reason you may think you are not better than the next person period they don't even consider us somalis which is false because somali bantus whether you like to accept it or not are somalis our parents were born in somalia they were raised in Somalia. We follow a Somali culture, eat Somali food, listen to Somali music, wear Somali clothing. And it's crazy how Somalis, Somali Bantus can appreciate other Somalis, but when it comes to certain Somalis, they can't appreciate Somali Bantus. That's just crazy and that's disgusting. That's disgusting. And if you have that mindset, you need to break the barrier. You do not need to carry on feeling this way and transfer these feelings onto your kids. We are all family at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we all come from Africa. Speak a Somali language we are as somali as it can get and if you don't want to accept that fact that's between you and whoever you want to take it up with because it won't be us it's also very evident that somali bantus and somalis have different features as bantus we have afrocentric features as you can see my nose is bigger my lips are bigger whereas ethnic somalis they have eurocentric features slimmer nose softer hair and I cannot help but think this is where the hate and the animosity towards Bantus strives from. It's the fact that we have different futures. I feel like Somalis do believe that they look better and are better than Somali Bantus because of these features that they have. And you're not. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but you're not. I made a video talking about how beautiful black some black men Somalis are. I made a video talking about how beautiful black Somali women are. We're all beautiful. But it seems as though we cannot get the same love in return. You think you're better. And you're not. We're equal. We're equal. You're brainwashed. But baby, we as Bantus, we are highly proud of our Afrocentric features. I love my big nose. I love my big lips. People pay for these features. So how could I ever hate these features? Are you kidding me? This is a pride. I take pride in my big nose, my big lips. So there is no hatred or jealousy towards you guys when it comes to that field. 
but I feel like you guys think we are just I just want to say Camilla girl I love you and you are absolutely beautiful thank you for making this I'm only three minutes in thank you for making this video because you you are speaking nothing but facts girl jealous of you guys for your features or maybe you guys want us to be jealous of you guys for your features and it makes no sense because it makes no sense people are paying for these features people are paying to have big beautiful luscious lips okay stop playing stop playing stop playing I have never looked at a Somali person, an ethnic Somali person, and thought to myself, damn, I wish I looked like that. Never. 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 Oh, you wish you was Somali. Oh, you wish you was this. Oh, you... No, baby. I am happy to be who I am and look the way that I look. Do not get it twisted. I can appreciate someone else's beauty without demeaning mine without demeaning mine I, that does not mean i want to have somali features that does not mean i want to have european features i can look at someone else features and think that is beautiful and still not want to look like that because i love who i am and you should too but you should not go around making other people feel bad or making other people feel inferior for the way that they look. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? No, you are beautiful. I'm gonna let it that. play. I'm but I am beautiful play. too in my Afrocentric features. And I know many of you guys are probably thinking, why are you making it about futures? Why you keep talking about futures? It's because it has always been about futures. The only reason other ignorant Somalis don't consider Bantu Somalis is because of our futures. If we had softer hair, slimmer nose, or looked like their standards of what a Somali person should look like, they would have taken us as Somalis and would not have questioned our Somali nets. The reason they question it is because they see that we look different than them, and that's due to features. So I'm sorry if it makes you uncomfortable that I keep talking about features, but I have to because it has always been about features. And you know what? Disgusting. Disgusting humans. Disgusting individuals. Disgusting. Imagine you not being able to choose who your parents are. Imagine you not being able to choose your hair texture, your features, none of that. Imagine you look just like a Somali Bantu. Would you want someone to treat your child in such a disgusting way? Would you? No, right? It's amazing because in Somalia, they treat Somali Bantus like whites treat blacks that is disgusting that is sad and that is pure ignorance you're ignorant you're disgusting so ironic to me is the fact that me and i'm tired of being called a dirty jurer Do you really? I don't think y'all realize that. Have you have you traced your background? Do you know where you come from? Do you know that somebody in your family is probably a Somali Bantu, or have had nappy hair or a bigger nose in your family? Do you treat them like they're an outsider, or do you treat them like they're your blood? Many Somalis hate Arabs because they believe Arabs think that they're better than them and they believe Arabs see them as Abid, which means slaves. But Somalis do the same thing that they claim Arabs do to them, to Somali Bantus. 
that's such a hypocrite move because you hate Arabs for the same things you're doing to your own kind. It makes no sense. Your you guys kind. claim you are oppressed by Arabs. Arabs are evil people. Arabs are terrible but people. But you're evil. They, they are better than us. This, that, this, that. But you are doing the same thing, probably worse to Somali Bantus. You don't like to be on the other end of the spectrum, but you do the same thing to us and that makes it okay? How can you be the same people that you claim to hate? Because in my eyes, there's no difference between those ignorant... Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Racist. You're right, Camilla. There's not a difference. And if you are not following C Camilla, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that link in the bio. I'm going to link her page in my bio. Subscribe to her page. Check her channel out because she's speaking nothing but facts right now. And if you're not on this side of the spectrum, criticized and ridiculed for how you look, then you don't understand how this feels. But you know what? It used to affect me, and now I just laugh it off because you peep, some of you people are really sick in the head. Arabs and you... And y'all know whenever I make videos like this, I always pull up with the receipts because many Somalis do not like to believe that Somalis can be ignorant or we have ignorant people in our community. So let me show. You know what's crazy? All the time when I get like a crazy message or a racist message, I'll post it to my Instagram. Go well, not my Instagram. I'll post it to my Snapchat. Snapchat game. What's up? I love y'all. But I'll post it to my Snapchat and a lot of my Somali people will comment and be like, you know what, it's just pure ignorance. You can't pay them any mind. And they're not Somali Bantu. So not all Somalis are racist. I can honestly say that there are beautiful Somali people that support me and I appreciate y'all so much. But I really wish that you guys would spread the message and let other people know that what they're doing and what they're saying is wrong. It is wrong. It is not right. It is not kind. And would Allah really want you to be acting this way towards another human? Really. Really. Show you guys the ignorance that I have been receiving and what I'm talking about in this video. This girl said, you don't give a F because you're a Jarir. Nah, yeah, you forgot you used to be a slave cleaning for us. The fact that somebody could sit here and brag about such embarrassment is... That's disgusting. That's... That's sad. That makes... That's just sad. That makes no sense. That's just, and you know what? People who make comments like that, they don't really live a good life. And how you make someone else feel, it will come back on you. How you treat someone else, it will come back on you. Karma will come back on you. So you can say all of these mean and negative things to other people. But just know that I believe in God. But if you believe in Allah, Allah sees everything. Crazy to me. And you are a Muslim. God sees, hears everything, and he is aware of all. Trust me. The treatment Somali Bantus have endured in Somalia, the enslavement, our haq will be given to us on the day of judgment. The people who would put us through all that trouble, you will pay for it on the day of judgment. God will hold you accountable. And you know what? I don't wish bad upon other people, but you get what you put out. Everything that you put out is going to come back to you, whether it be something positive or whether it be something negative. And sometimes it don't come back to you. It will come upon the people that you love which is sad i don't wish this upon anybody but you have to start thinking about what you're saying and how it might affect 
the next person accountable for the actions and the maltreatment you put us through that's not forgotten we have forgave and moved on on earth but trust me on the day of judgment the creator your creator will question you for those things so i promise you that is not something you should be proud of the fact that you're bragging about slaving people embarrassing your own people are that embarrassing next comment this person said they were brought to somalia so they can clean and cook for real somali people they're maids they don't even look like somalis they're such ugly creatures the creature part cut out but just sad just pathetic just I'm assuming that's what he was going to say. Again, embarrassing. The fact that you guys really sit here and brag about this is mind-blowing to me. Mind-blowing. How can you brag about slavery? Do white people even do that? I don't even think white people do that. So you're not worse than white people. Worse than white people? I've never heard white people out loud bragging about slavery. I've even heard white people feel bad about slavery. But you guys are bragging about someone being enslaved, someone being tortured, someone being treated less than. It's embarrassing, like Camilla said, and it's pathetic. It's pathetic. God bless you. God bless you. I, I, I wish you the best. I really do because it's just so sad. It's just so sad. At this point, oh, like, what the heck? Who raised you? You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. And this person said, why do Bantus don't like to claim their original country, Malawi and Tanzania? First of all, I was born in Kenya. If I was to claim anything, I would claim Kenya first. But the reason I don't claim Kenya is because I don't know anything about Kenya. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, as Somali Bantus, we follow a Somali culture, speak a Somali dialect, eat Somali food. We breed Somalia. We don't know much about Kenya for us to be claiming Kenya. Why don't you claim Kenya? You were probably born in Kenya too. Many Somalis were born in Kenya because our country was not so great and we had to escape to Kenya for refuge. You don't get to tell us what we should and should not claim. If we say we are Somali, leave it at that. I am not claiming Tanzania. I was never born in Tanzania and I don't even know what Malawi is. So I am not going to claim a country I know nothing about to please you to make you feel comfortable because you don't see me as Somali. Honestly, if my dad knew how Somali people, like he think, my dad thinks so highly of Somali people, so much in fact that he named me Somali. And if he knew how disgusting some Somali people were towards me, he probably would never have named me Somali. He probably would never have named me this to, to, to see how much people try and hurt me and bring me down over my name. My father never wants to see me hurt, never wants to see me in pain. But you know what? All of this negativity has just made me stronger. But I know that if he knew, and he doesn't know, but if he knew how disgusting and he thinks so highly problem dealing with yourself because to me i am somali and i will continue telling people that who's gonna stop me you guys have so much balls on social media but you guys will never say this to a somali bound two person in real life i promise you you're not gonna have the same energy in real life this internet thugging and you know it's crazy whenever i meet like Somali people in person and they find out who my what my name is. 
I get shown so much love. I've never received hate in person, ever. Even even from an African person, someone from Nigeria, someone from Kenya. Everyone has shown me love whenever they find out, oh my God, your name is Somali. Like, oh my God, wow, wow, that's beautiful. But online, people who cool, who'll never see me, just so negative, so negative. It's not cute and y'all need to cut it, it's embarrassing. If I was to sit here and show you guys all the ignorant comments left on my TikTok videos, you would be shocked. And I did, like I showed y'all my hate comments. And there's more, there's more, like I said, in my hater video, I'll link that down below. Five reasons why you should love your haters. Haters gonna hate. And that's what they gonna do. That's what they gonna do. They gonna hate. You will be shocked because I be shocked. And I shouldn't because this is something that has been going on for such a long time. But they never failed to shock me still. But I'm not going to give them that energy that they want. I'm not going to read every comment. Those three were... I clap back, boo-boo. Kind of struck a nerve, especially the ones that were taking pride in slaving Somali Bantus. That was utterly disgusting to me. So I have to show you guys. And this is a argument many Somalis like to use that Somali Bantus don't even claim Somalia, that they rather claim Tanzania or Kenya. Why do you think that is? I keep yawning, y'all. I am tired. I am tired. But I just have to make this video. I just have to react to this video because I started watching it and then I just wanted to give you guys an authentic reaction to how I felt. Because I can relate to Camilla so much. Not even Somali. My name is just Somali. But I can relate to this video so much. Because it's like, dang, what if I really was Somali Bantu? What if it wasn't just my name? I would... I would probably experience much more hate. What if I didn't live in the United States of America? What if I actually lived over there? Would I receive love or would I receive hate? Somali Bantus claim Kenya, Tanzania or the next neighborhood because they have been bullied out of being or claiming Somalia. Who wants to claim Somalia when you're constantly being told you are not Somali, you are not Somali, you are not Somali, you are Jarir, you are Mado, you are Jarir, you are Mado. The amount of ignorant comments that are pushed towards Somali Bantu's way, you cannot be mad at them for not claiming Somalia. And many Somali Bantus also don't want to claim Somalia because of the dark history our people were put through and you also cannot shame them for that. We are constantly being reminded that we were slaves, as you just saw. We are constantly being told we were the help. So you cannot be mad at people for not wanting to claim Somalia when that's the treatment that they are receiving from ignorant people. But to my Somali Bantu brothers and sisters, do not let these ignorant people push you away or scare you off into claiming Somalia. You are as Somali as they are. Our parents were born and raised in Somalia, as I mentioned. We have no choice but to claim Somalia. When you don't claim Somalia, you are letting them win. And do not let that happen. Do not let this ignorant... Don't let them win. Don't let them win. I almost did. They can't win. It literally has made me stronger. And it should make you stronger. You are beautiful. You've endured so much. And you're going to keep getting better and better. Keep a good heart. Don't let other people hate make you hate. Keep loving your culture and where you come from. And keep showing love to other people. People convince you of otherwise. You are Somali. 
they will never say the things that they say online to you in person so don't even worry about it if they ask you what you are tell them you are somali because you are somali stop claiming kenya and tanzania as a safe haven unless you were born and raised in kenya or tanzania and you speak swahili and you know a lot about that country stop claiming it you it's embarrassing this happened to me once, true story. I was one of those who were bullied into not claiming Somalia too, so I started claiming Kenya because I was born and raised in Kenya. But one time, this guy approached me and he was like, where are you from? And I told him, I'm Kenyan. So he started speaking to me in Swahili and I froze. I don't speak Swahili, so I'm looking at him like, what did you say? And he's looking at me like, you don't speak the language? And I'm there like, no, I don't. And now I'm giving him a brief history about my family. I love her. She's so honest. She's so honest. How can you not love her? Like, come on now. She's beautiful and she's honest. And you can tell that her heart is pure. Regardless of all the disgusting comments that she get on a daily basis. Wow. Go ahead, Camilla. And where I'm actually from. I'm telling him all oh, my parents are actually Somali, but I was born in Kenya. And that man is telling me that I should just claim Somalia then. That's embarrassing. Like that encounter was so embarrassing for me. Claiming Kenya when I don't even speak Swahili. I have never done that again. From this day forward, I claim Somalia and I claim it proudly because at least I can interact with Somali people in Somali language when they speak to me. I speak a dialogue of Somali. Many people don't consider Af my mai Somali, but Af my mai is Somali. Af my mai is a dialogue of Somali. There's two main dialogues in the Somali language. That's Af maha and Af my mai. If you don't know this basic information, are you even Somali? Ask yourself that question. I titled this video, Are Somalis Racist? Because that was meant as a question. That was a question that I was asked once upon a time. And I wanted to use that question as the title of this video, mainly just to bring people here so they can hear what I have to say. And secondly, I would say that's subjective. I personally do not think black people can be racist, but I will say Somali people are colorist and they are very ignorant. This is not all of Somalis, obviously, but they are a huge portion of Somalis who are very ignorant colorist and just disgusting people it is no secret that many somalis do think they're better than black people you show this for yourself you prove this for yourself the amount of hate comments somalis leave on other people who are not somalis comment section is embarrassing i have seen it myself and people can even come out and speak for themselves i had friends who are coming up to me like damn your people are racist as hell my friends are not somali but they see it you guys publicly leave ignorant comments in a public platform where anybody can see and read the comments for themselves. So if somebody wants to label Somalis as racist. And do you, like, y'all don't have no idea what effect that has on other cultures. When you see somebody who, somebody from the outside looking in, outsiders, you look stupid. Because... We all look alike. And you're just treating other cultures how to treat us. If we don't have respect respect for ourselves, how can we expect other cultures to have respect for us? That is the slave mentality. You say that we're slaves and we used to cook and clean for you. However, you have that slave mentality to, to where your brothers and sisters are treated in such a disgusting manner and from the outside looking in you look just like us so who's really looking stupid who's really looking disgusting you're making our culture look bad as a whole as a whole because we can't stick together and get to where we need to be in life. This is why other cultures are doing so much better than us. Because we can't just come together as one. And if we did, we could take over the world. We could take over the world, but we refuse to come together. This division that we have within our culture, within our nation, is tearing us apart. 
and it's not allowing us to grow and develop the way that we are supposed to because we're strong we were made strong somali strong african strong <laughs> like do do y'all really understand that or are you too ignorant to understand that this is a slave mentality that was embedded into us to keep us divided wake up wake up i can't say nothing about that you prove that you are colorist you prove that you are ignorant you do the work for yourself so i personally cannot answer that question like i said it's subjective if you think black people can be racist and want to classify somalis as racist that is on you i will say that it's not all somalis not all somalis are ignorant racist colorist That's whatever true. you want to call it it is 2021 2021 at this point you are choosing to be ignorant seeking knowledge is part of being muslim so why don't you get off the internet why don't you get off TikTok and go seek some knowledge? I hope this video opens up. And educate yourself. Because nine times out of ten, you learned this information from someone around you. In your family. If this is how someone in your family feels, you be the one to break that generation. You bring the one you be the one to bring knowledge into your family. You be the one to bring everyone together. Do you know how much Allah, do you know how much God would appreciate his people coming together? Conversations that we need to have. It is time we become one Somalia and it is time we respect each other our parents are much more ignorant than we are but it is up to us to educate ourselves so we can educate the next person and we can do better we need to be the generation to do better that is it that is all i'm gonna say to you thank you guys so much for watching this video if i sounded angry or mad i promise you i was not i, I just get very passionate when i'm talking about things that I matter most to me so that is all there is to it i am not mad i'm disappointed i'm embarrassed but i am not mad anyways don't forget to like and comment on this video open up a conversation let's have a conversation if you want to debate with me in the comments you are free to do so anyways i will see you guys on my next video thank you guys for joining me on yet another video if you stay through the end much love to you and my salam bye that's crazy y'all that hey, mom that was so like enlightening that was refreshing to see someone take so much pride and give so much love to other people camilla i really appreciate your video thank you so much keep spreading the word keep keep doing what you're doing keep putting in the work regardless of the hate you are loved and you are beautiful and i hope that you know that i know you know that because I can tell just by looking at you. Because if you actually didn't care about your culture, you would not have made that video. Wow. Camilla said enough. Camilla said enough. I know I said a lot too, but Camilla said enough. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and checking in with your girl. It's been a while since I made another Somali video, but honestly... People have made me feel so bad about making Somali videos to the point where I stopped. But that's that's not that's not happening. I'm gonna continue making Somali videos and continue appreciating the culture regardless of how much hate that I get. You know, I portray myself as being so strong because I am, but I'm human and I have feelings too. Comment something nice below. Be kind to one another. Show love to one another. Stop the hate. Break that generation of curses, of hate within your own community. Come together. And I will see you guys in.
my next video. So Somali, so Somali.